All right, here we are at stage 15 at the 2023 K&M Collis Precision Rifle Match. Uh, I ended up being the first shooter on this particular stage, so what I noticed as soon as I got on glass was that these targets were a test of how well your, your rifle was shooting elevation and how, how well you understood your ballistic solver. Um, the targets are much wider than they were tall, so you know wind was not a factor for uh, multiple reasons, uh, mainly because of the target shape, but also there wasn't a lot of wind. Um, and when you're in a scenario like that, you want to make sure that you send the perfect round. So once I got ready, I uh, checked my rifle for my pre-stage checklist. You can see me turning around here. I was confirming that there were ROs on glass. Sometimes that happens when you get to a stage and you're the first shooter and people are more worried about themselves than, you know, kind of spotting. So once I start the stage, there's a couple things I like to focus on. You can see I place my bag with intent, um, tying my right elbow into my right knee. My left arm is straight. Exhale, trigger press, follow through and my first round was an impact. Um, unfortunately, my second round was a miss, and I, based on the Mirage, I couldn't really tell exactly whether I missed over or under the target, so I defaulted to add elevation, and I aimed at the top edge of the plate. Um, I do pause for a little bit longer here to make sure that I'm sending the perfect round, so my, my third round in the match here in the stage took a little bit longer, but once I, once I fired it, I could see that I was over the target. So now I had the answer I was looking for and knew that I needed to aim at the bottom edge of the plate. Continuing to build good positions along these, these uh, concrete pipes here, one other thing to point out is that before I move positions, I will dial my elevation. You're going to see that happen right here in a second. Dial. So I like to dial before I move to make sure that I don't forget. Sometimes you build a position and you know you're so excited you find the target really fast and you have a good stable position that you forget to dial so it's much less risky to dial before you move uh, moving to the fifth, fifth position here i glanced over at my timer i saw i had 15 seconds left so um, all i was really focused on knowing that that's plenty of time is uh, make these good good trigger presses and follow through 